Mark Beneteau from WP Academy here to demonstrate a process that allows you to move a self-hosted WordPress installation from the root to a subfolder, from a subfolder to the root, or even to copy a WordPress website from one host to another or one domain to another. It uses a free plugin called WP Clone. So let's get to it. Here we have a simple website that is running on the root domain of this uh, cPanel hosting system under Domain Incubating Genius that you can see at the top. And we're going to copy this to the same domain under a subdirectory called slash test. And we're going to use WP Clone for this. And be aware that you could also do the opposite, copy from a subdirectory to the root. You could copy to another hosting account or domain name. Uh, this is a really powerful software. We need to begin by creating a fresh WordPress installation on the destination site, which is incubatinggenius.com slash test. And for this, you're going to enter the control panel of your hosting account. This is a cPanel based hosting system. Your hosting system might be different, in which case the same principle will apply, but the interface will be a little different. Now, and this is actually HostGator. In HostGator, there's an application called Fantastical Deluxe that is used for installing WordPress and other open source applications. So we're going to bring up Fantastical. You click on WordPress on the left here, and then New Installation. And if you have a subdomain or add-on domains, you'll, they'll drop down here. But in this case, we'll just install on the root domain, but in, inside this directory test. And you're going to enter your, enter your username and password and install WordPress. So in those few minutes, it's copied all the files, the PHP files. It's configured the database. And we're going to finish installation. And now we're going to enter the administrative area of the site or the dashboard, which is going to be at incubating genius slash test slash wp-admin. We're going to log in with the username and password that we just entered. Now the process from here is amazingly straightforward. You're going to go to the source site, incubatinggenius.com, enter the dashboard. From there we're going to install the free WP clone plugin, plugins add new. Search for it by name, WP clone. Activate it. Install and activate. It's getting the files from WordPress.org right now. Free plugin repository. Unpacking the package. Successfully installed plugin WP clone. Activate it. Now it opens up a new command in the left side bar here. And you're going to choose create backup command, uh, button and then just create backup. Wait a, wait a minute or two while it completes the backup. This is a small site. It won't take long. Backup successful. Here's your backup file. I'm just going to copy that URL. And with that URL in my clipboard, I'm going to the destination site inside the dashboard. And from there, you go to plugins, add new. We're going to add WP clone to the destination site as well. Install now. Activate. And then go to the WP clone command. And you are going to select this time restore from URL. You're going to paste in the URL that you copied from the backup on the source site. You're going to agree to the terms and conditions that basically says you're on your own, buddy. Restore from URL. This may take a few minutes. Proceed. Yes. And it's thinking. That didn't take long at all. Restore successful. Visit your restored site here. OK, that looks pretty good to me. And notice that this is on the slash test uh, subdirectory. It does say that you may have to resave your permalink structure here. Go ahead and do that. Database update required because it's upgraded its WordPress version. Log in again. And that would be under the source site 
user ID and password. By the way, it's copied the username and password from the source site as well. And under permanent settings, set them as you would normally would, but month and name works pretty well. And your site now is good to go. Just refresh it and you'll see that all of the drop downs and uh, internal links are working now. Hope that helps. If you get into trouble with any of this, remember that your hosting company can often help. Please check out other WP Academy quick tutorials as well.